Hi everyone, and thank you for visiting my shop. I am so thankful for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. And um, I just want to talk a little bit about this video. And what we're going to do is going to talk about um, how 2021 was for me on my business and what my goals are for 22. So for 21, thanks for joining me this morning. I had my coffee. And this is something else I do is tumblers. Um, and I have my bagel. So, um, for 21 in review, you know, I don't know if you're also, um, an Etsy seller or on Etsy, or do you have your own website? But for me, um, I, I went ahead and stayed with Etsy through all of 21 and I went ahead and also in January of 21 created a website with Wix.com and for Etsy, I feel like I did pretty good um, for the year. Of course, I do work full-time, so this is not like a full-time business for me. This is a a love uh, business for me. I love doing these different projects and different um, embroidery and the tumblers and things like that. I love doing crafty things. So for me, um, the website uh, was just an extra, and I really wanted it start branching out of from Etsy, but I learned that, you know, a lot of people do have a lot of traffic through Etsy. So for me on Etsy, um, I did introduce like gingham and seersucker, um, apparel that is from love the cotton.com and embroidering those monogramming and using those in my website or on my Etsy shop on listings. Those sold really well this year. Um, from from all of their products, from their sunsuits all the way up to their fleece jackets. Those sold very well, especially during Christmas time. And um, when they when Etsy introduced their Star Seller um, program, I was on board at first, but then I, after a while, I was I, learning the actual program. It's okay, um, but what I don't care for is that it, you could have one bad review or you could miss a message being responded to within 24 hours, I believe, or 12 hours. Um, and that would bring down your star rating. I really didn't care for that, but it is what it is. I'm going to try to uh, do better this year in 22 on um, making sure I set my um, re automatic reply with Etsy. You can do that. You can set your automatic reply for a max of five days. So let's just say maybe you're going on vacation or you're scheduled a trip or you just don't want to work for five days. And instead of putting your shop on vacay, which I wouldn't do, I would just put your message reply um, on something for five days. You can actually make it an auto reply. You can say, like for me, I put it on auto reply during a holidays during the holidays or when I just don't want to work that weekend I put an automatic reply to say you know thanks for shopping about stopping with my shop I'm working on orders I'll reply to your message within the next 24 hours this way it pings my phone that I have someone who's put a message in for Etsy and I can reply to it when I can and also it also pings Etsy that I've already replied with that automatic reply so once you reply the first time it doesn't um, go on your star rating if you, you know, wait a little while and not reply back. So it's only that first reply that it actually belong, goes to your star rating. That's how I think think of it. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. And for 2022, I have met my star rating for um, January. It actually is for the last three months of your your sales and, and your actual customer service and emails and things for your shop. So um, I have met and I had I am at the star rating for the month of January. So that could change at the end of, by the end of January. I'm not sure, but it is based on the last three months of your Etsy's customer service, email response rate, and reviews and things like that. One other thing I want to do in 22 is um, really start working on my sur with my serger. I did get a serger. Um, it is a 1034D. 
It's still in the box. Well, actually, it's not in the box. The empty box is right there. The serger's right there. Um, I think I've only done a press stitch, practice stitch. Yeah. So that is one thing that in 22, I plan on um, breaking, cracking that thing open and just, just getting after it. I mean, I really want to start doing, I'm going to, I have a pair of, which I've learned now, um, is too small for my daughter. They're going to be like size two leggings. I cut them too short. Um, so I'm going to put those together and just see how I did first, just kind of a play, you know, and I have some fabric that I intended on making some leggings for Christmas, which they're light bulbs on them. So I'll probably use those for practice. And, you know, I need to start practicing and, and learning how to do it. So I want to make leggings that will go with um, my embroidered shirts. So there'll be leggings, there'll be leggings with flare legs, um, maybe some shorts, some bumper, uh, little bum bum shorts, things like that. So that's another thing I want to do in 22 is really start getting after that and start making some um, apparel that goes with my embroidered shirts. I have purchased over probably a thousand designs in 21 for embroidery, mostly embroidery, fonts, things like that. And I know I didn't get around to um, embroidering all of them and posting them on my shop. I do tend to do that. I'll see something on Etsy and I think it's really cute and I'll buy the design and I'll, I'll tend to like forget about it, which is, I'm going to try to work on that this year, is when I do buy it, I'm going to automatically like, be sure I embroider it either the next day or the day, day after and get it on my shop quickly. I don't want to keep on buying designs and basically wasting my money and letting the design sit there and I forget that I even bought a design. I end up doing that. So this year I'm going to make sure I don't do that. I, if I buy a design, I'm going to actually embroider it and post it on my shop or it's not worth buying. I, mean, I tend to look at something and go, oh, that's really cute. And also I'll look at it and say, oh, that's really cute. I think I would want to, I would want to buy that. I need to start thinking about what's the actual, what's in demand right now, what's popular right now. So I have to really think about that too. In, in 22. Um, for Etsy, I would say in 21, um, I only had 13K in sales, which is not that bad. Um, but me, um, everyone who knows me, I probably end up getting the money and turning it right back into my business, either for supplies, which is a good thing, um, or designs. And I think that's what I did. I kept on like buying designs and not like saving it for things that are really needed. Um, I had 454 orders and I only had 33K views and 18K visits, which I want to increase those. You know, I want to bring more traffic in. And I also, all year of 21, I did take advantage of um, utilizing Etsy's marketing. So I did pay, it varied sometimes. I, for two weeks during in, in 21, I did try um, putting about $10 a day in the marketing for two weeks just to see how it was going to do. And I didn't see a difference hardly at all. I mean, I even got less sales um, during those two weeks. So then I went ahead and just dropped it and kept it $3 a day for most of the year. Um, some of the year, I think I only did $1 a day because maybe I wasn't very busy or I didn't want to be that busy, so I would just drop it. Most of most of the year, though, it was three dollars a day for their marketing, and like right now, it's only a dollar. So I may bump it up in twenty two. I don't know. I'm going to reevaluate and look at my statistics again to see how much I really want to spend on that, um, the Etsy marketing. So as I said, I do have a separate website, and I think um, on my separate website, I used Wix, like I said, but I didn't have any hardly any traffic, which is what has kind of bothered me. So this year, we're really going to look into that to see what is, what's, what am I doing wrong? Is my website right? Are my tags right? If everything looks right, I may look into either, um, I have a book about SEO. Maybe I'll look into learning how to do it myself or actually hiring someone to bring in some traffic to my website. I'm not sure what I want to do yet on that. But I do want to bring in traffic to my website because eventually I really don't want to be stuck with Etsy. I want Etsy just eventually just be 
a side um, avenue on getting orders. I want my, everyone to be directed to my website. So like last year, I went on Vistaprint and I ordered, um, I ordered coupon cards. Basically it had my social media on one side, all my links, links to social media. And then on the front side, it just basically said my business and thank you for your order and take advantage of this coupon on my website. So trying to direct buyers, existing buyers from who bought from Etsy to my website. Um, so that's what I did with every order. That's that little card came into that. Um, but I heard, like I said, I hardly got any traffic, which is really odd. So I'll have to look into that in 22. My goal for 22 on sales on Etsy would at least be double the amount I have now that I had in 21. So like 50 would be great. 50,000. Um, and my other goal is to have more traffic to my website and more so sales from my actual website. Um, during the year of 21, I did introduce a few new products that were not on my Etsy site, but on a new Etsy page, a, a Etsy selling page called Farmhouse Fanatic. I like farmhouse signs, farmhouse vintage, anything farmhouse for my own decor. And I really liked it. So I started learning how to um, make farmhouse signs. And if you're interested in that, um, Simply Sally is one I watch all the time on YouTube. And I love her tutorials. I love her videos. That's how I kind of start, started looking into it, thinking that looks really fun. So, you know, I did invest some of my sales. I would have to admit to that, but not all of my sales into like um, a table saw and some other actual equipment for making the hardwood signs. So I do have another site on Etsy called Farmhouse Fanatic. We have wood signs and I would move my tumblers that were on my love and the bling page etsy shop to farmhouse fanatic now this year that's what i've decided to do is separate my love and the bling is just going to be embroidery and apparel products either from you baby on up along with handmade blankets and bibs and things like that that's all like fabric and apparel and then my farmhouse fanatic is going to be my farmhouse signs um and my tumblers so that's how i've separated We'll see how that goes for 22. Um, I'm hoping I get traffic too to my farmhouse fanatic. I only had like one sale last year, but it was there was only there was only like three listings, and actually there were six, and then it dropped down to three because the by the time I decided to start posting my farmhouse signs on Etsy, um, the wood price went up so high at my local Lowe's and Home Depot, and I thought, okay, this is the timing's just not right. So I just left maybe a few listings out there of small wood items, not large. And I, I only had one sale last year. Um, so like this, like I said, this goal will be sales, increase in sales, YouTube videos. Um, I don't have that many YouTube videos uh, compared to other um, craft and, and, and marketing individuals that I do watch, like Simply Sally, um, uh, Angelina with AJ Blanks, things like that. I watch them all the time. Uh, Nita. I'll leave all these links too down below. These all the, these are all the people I watch all the time on YouTube, and I <laughs> I tend to start watching and I'll forget that I'm actually, you know, watching a YouTube video and I'm need to work. <laughs> that that's my problem too. I'll get distracted. So um, I'm gonna start doing a lot more YouTube videos. I put it on my calendar on my phone to remind me, hey, I need to do a YouTube video. I need to upload something. Um, I'm gonna start investing in ads for 22. And um, and some and look into SEO. So those are my 22 goals for my shop and my business businesses business. So um, thanks for watching this lengthy video, and I will leave a bunch of different site links down below of if you're looking into okay what do I do next or maybe you're having a slump with your Etsy shop. These are I'm gonna leave some links of some really um, either great videos to watch or websites like if this and that that's a website i believe it's still free but i'm not really sure at this point because it's been a long time since i've used it but if you're wanting to do social media and really get into social media with your business if this and that is a website where you can um, sign in an account and start posting on your social media sites in the same post the same item and they go to all your different social media sites at the same time so you're not having to go to 
your Pinterest and do that social that and, and do that ad or your Twitter and do that ad or your um, Facebook and do that all of them at the same time with one click. So I thought that was very convenient. Um, so I'll link all these different links down below on this video to be to help you with your own business in 22. So thanks for watching this link video. Hope to see you again and you'll be seeing more videos on my channel in 22. Thanks. Bye. Be sure you like and subscribe this year. I'm hoping to have more subscribers too. <laughs> Bye.